Hey guys, well, we hope you've made it this far. That was exciting. We got everything completed. We've got the application filled out. And the final words were that we will be back in contact uh, in a few weeks, right? Yeah, mga a few weeks, guys. So, you know, anyone doing one of these applications, lots of anxiety, what's going on. You're trying to plan things. Uh, you know, you're waiting for the emails. So finally, uh, I believe we did get one email that the application went to so far and you went back in. You have to always go back into your account, guys. So it's just an email being sent. You went back in your email and it said that they're processing your application, right? Yeah, you, you respond the email, guys, that you processing your yeah. So, application. So it's like a window, guys. A page comes up. Yeah this stage in the process application received in process then the next one says all documents received so those PDFs right that we ended up providing because maybe the corrupt or didn't open up but uh, they were able to open up so we waited we waited we're constantly checking you know two weeks goes by three weeks goes by we're checking checking then we finally go in and it has final uh, decision. So it has all these checkoffs uh, and it has final decision on it. And we click that and we open that up. And what happened, babe? When we open that uh, folder. When you, when you open that, so that's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Denied, guys. <laughs> so it was not very exciting, guys. Denied. Can you believe this, guys? So got denied like so many other people. With all that information, we still got denied. But the reasons that this officer, the immigration officer that did this application, um, didn't make any sense because in there it said that Bella has no siblings. I don't have any siblings, family. Yeah. So that's number one. And number two, it says, we believe that you'll never come back to the Philippines. Yes. That was number two. And that was it. That was just the two of them. That's it. So that was very upsetting, guys. All that work, uh, the anxiety of, of waiting, um, being prepared, and to get that you're declined. And yeah. an officer, so it said in there, if there was any information that they required, they would send us, well, send Bella. Uh, asking for this information. Well, this officer never did that. The officer never sent uh, asking, uh, do you have siblings? Which it's in the application. When you fill out the application, now I don't know if it asked about all your siblings, but it asked about your mom and dad and it yeah, asked for their I last, first and last name. Mom, but it didn't ask about your dad. siblings. Didn't ask about your siblings. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, but anyways, they never sent a, a follow-up saying, provide this documentation and the last one saying that I believe you'll never leave the Philippines or you'll never come back to the Philippines but she has a lease and you know her she's stayed in the same place for over three years and this lease shows that she will be come she still has this lease and it will be for I think eight months still in the lease so she has all of her belongings and everything so we had to stop. Bella had to do a letter. And this letter actually addressed uh, that final decision uh, and being polite. Uh, so put a letter together. We had to apply again. I have to reapply again, guys. So it, this was easier because we had all the information. But we had to reply, apply again, just like we're newbies, guys. So all that stuff we did the first time, we had to do it all over again. Yeah. So remember how important it was to have all that stuff, guys, especially that 10 years, right? Because it's consecutive, right? They see it first here in that application. Now this is a new number you got. So you're doing it twice. So we did it right away. And in that letter, we basically, we was wrote in there that um, whoever was the officer, uh, this is not correct. We never, she was, she never received anything. 
uh, and she ended up giving the information of her siblings. And also in regards for saying you'll never come back to the Philippines, again, that was answered with uh, supporting documents, guys. So there's a few people I've read that they've said they get uh, um, denied, but there's obviously reasons why they get denied. And a few of them said they won't come back to the Philippines. Well, you need to provide those documents when you're going to reapply again, guys, to prove to the next officer that that first officer uh, was not correct. Okay, so that's very important, guys. So you reapplied, had to pay a hundred again. Yeah, I just had to go through, again. Had to go through the whole, whole application, process, guys. Whole just application. Type for the whole application. Oh my goodness, guys! So hours again, guys. That's the problem missing, guys. Is I don't have any family. That's it. No, but it also the person didn't think yeah. you were gonna come back to the Philippines. Yeah. So that's now all addressed with all that information over again. And now we're waiting again. So we hit send and then same stuff again, wait whatever it was, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just restart again. So wait to the next video, guys. Let's go. Hi guys, we're back again. Okay, so second application and we're checking online constantly uh we're seeing things are getting checked off checked off checked off and oh it had to have been another month right babe another month waiting yeah it's another month yeah so another one well we opened up the final decision and guess what what was that final decision? The final decision guys is approved. <laughs> wow awesome eh guys approved approved that is that was a relief because the first one we were both in tears and frustrated, yeah, frustrated this one so let's move on we're now approved what's the next step babe what did it end up telling you biometrics right the second is um, biometrics biometric so now you had an invitation letter yeah so you had to set up an appointment set up the appointment guys after the appointment guys you go in there but we didn't know where to go to. Yeah. It didn't no. even give it. It doesn't even give you any information where to go to, guys. So what we found is there's only two Canadian embassies in the Philippines. One is in Cebu and one is in Manila. Yeah. So being in Dumaguete, Cebu was the closest. Yeah. All right. Cebu and Manila, guys. Yeah. So now we had to online. You don't get to speak to anyone. We had to actually. You had to set up an appointment. To go yeah. do your biometrics. To go right? the biometrics. So she's approved, guys. She's approved. She just has to do biometrics. And the biometrics, are obviously, she's got to confirm that, you know, everything is good. But she's she's approved, all right? So we set up the biometrics, right? Well, we found out, guys, that there's no way that we could get to this location. It's 15 minutes. And if you're late, it's denied. You're denied. So... We had to get from Dumaguete to this consulate. We'd never been to the Canadian consulate, so it was all new to us. We're trying to figure out how to get there, how to fly, how to do this, how to do that. The time frame that was slotted in, it just didn't work. Well, it allows you to reschedule, but guess what, guys? <laughs> you can't, we're, we're, we're scheduled for two days, but the reschedule, you're not allowed to do anything for 48 hours, guys. <laughs> The, the online won't allow you to do anything for 48 hours or 72 hours. It was crazy, guys. So we actually had to wait to try to reschedule. Yeah, you want to reschedule again. So we finally got around to rescheduling, and we made sure we scheduled a way out, guys, so that we, we could get all our ducks in a row, so we could get, uh, if we're going to fly, first, if we're going to rent. You're renting my boyfriend <laughs> vehicle and then. He vehicle just, didn't arrive, guys. We just renting the vehicle, guys, and then so, you know, it's a very frustrating. So we're gonna go to the next video, guys, because we're gonna talk about getting there. Yeah. So let's go to the next video, guys. See you soon. Hi guys, we're back again. So we've now got biometrics second time set up to go there. Now we gotta get to Cebu. So we've rented a vehicle instead of flying. Um we decided to do it so how we had to leave from Dumaguete is we went to a port where it's called a row row. So this is where you drive on and it'll take you across and then you'll get off and then you have to drive. 
well guys <laughs> that was a drive i gotta tell you remember we've never been to cebu uh this is the first time for doing everything we got off uh everything went smooth we got off the roro uh we're driving google's maps uh in the philippines isn't very accurate guys but we're driving and uh, we got caught in rush hour and anyone in the philippines knows it gets dark at six o'clock so it's getting dark well, when we were driving, guys, the roads were just terrible. They're doing a lot of constructions and they're drop-offs, like two, two and a half feet drop-offs. And, you know, people just, you know, if you've driven the Philippines, I you know what I'm talking about. Very, it's, it's not good feeling. So that, that was a nerve-wracking drive, eh? Yeah. We didn't get there till like 8, 8.30 at Mga night. 8 p.m. after yeah. night, guys, you check in the, yeah. the hop in. Yeah, so, so this is what we want to get into is where we stayed was at the hop in. Um, we chose the hop in because it's there in the building for the office guys. So yeah, it's just there. Yeah. yeah. And the hop in, um, you know, it was clean, great rates. Yeah. Um, so we would recommend you go there. Uh, if you want a little bit of a higher place, you could go to holiday Inn, which is right next door. Yeah. Uh, but if you're only staying for a day. So what we did is we drove all day. We had the biometrics set up for the next day. All right, so that we were relaxed and not to be stressed out. Uh, then, so we're now in the hop in. We're the next day, the afternoons when we were going for biometrics. What did we do, babe? We went for a walk trying to look for the place, right? I going in there in the inside. No, no, no. We went for a walk to try to find the place. Uh, yeah, I just oh tried my god, because guys. it's the first time never been there. So yeah, gonna, we are to walking. Guys, and then you we're, find there, yeah, yeah, there in the coffee shop. Or the yeah, but we're walking around with Google's guys. Yeah. So get this, we're walking around, we're walking around, and I'm just like, it's like God's going all over the place, guys. And I'm like, this isn't. There. I'm like, this isn't making any sense. Guess what, guys? It's it's only like five minute slow walk out of the hop in. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a hint here, guys. If you're in the hop in or the holiday in looking out at the road you turn right and you walk and it's like a half a block guys only a half a block on the same side and it's a it's it's right on the corner it's a brownish all stone building with big it's steps very close, guys. it's it's impossible to miss it yeah, guys it's closer. and when you get up to the top there'll be a security guard because they're going to want that invitation letter so we didn't share that when you end up uh applying and you've got your biometric, they're going to send you an invitation letter. And you're going to make sure you go get photocopies of this. Because you're going to and have you're to gonna give that. And you're going to bring, guys, after the photocopy, you're going to bring the, uh, what's the paper to bring there? Hmm? Your application. Yeah, for the application. No, it was just a re the invitation letter. Yeah. So the invitation letter, Brian, because the secur security guard wants to see that, guys. So remember, go there. You can say hop in. Um, we went for breakfast in the Holiday Inn up on the 17th floor or 15th floor. It was amazing, guys. Great uh, breakfast, all you can eat. Uh, so, again, looking out of the road, it's to your right. Just walk a half a block. The building's around the corner. It's a brownish stone building, and there's big steps going up. And as soon as you get to the top, there's a security guard, and you have to end up handing them uh, your invitation letter and you might have to show your passport to Filipina passport, right? So now you went upstairs while well, we went upstairs We both of us <laughs> yeah, we went up the first. elevator we went up the elevator yeah. and we got to the area where the embassy is and you had to go through security I had to stay out. Yeah, I going there in the inside guys and then I bring the That I have the invitation letter. So we're gonna share a little bit about that next guys stay tuned Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe? Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe.